Okay, I've recently changed the setup of the back of the Hilux. I've transitioned to a caravan. So the rooftop tent's gone and I don't need to have all the camping equipment in the back of the car. And in order to get the car a bit lighter, I sold the drifter drawer system, but I still wanted to keep the fridge and a few bits and pieces for some small overnight camping trips or picnics. So what I did was I um, built a plywood box that holds my lithium battery, my Victron DC to DC charger and all the wiring. And that little box that's bolted to the tub a couple of bolts there that's not going to go anywhere that's uh, only got a lithium battery about 10 or 11 kilos and that gives me a space on top of the battery box to put my coffee machines and milk frother this platform marine ply nine millimeter it doesn't cover the full width of the tub it doesn't need to it runs though from the front of the tub all the way to the back so it's about 1.5 meters long just got a piece of carpet it's not mounted anywhere it's just sitting there stops things sliding around and this platform is where i can bolt all my accessories to so i've got the fridge slide here that's using t-nuts so they're all nice and neat and uh, very secure the back of the fridge i've got another piece of marine ply that holds the inverter that runs all my 240 volt accessories, namely the coffee machine. I've got a little Nespresso machine, a milk warmer, and a Greek coffee machine. And you'll see another tie down point. So I've got two tie down points on this. that lets me to put tires to the other side of the tub. Some little camping boxes, bits and pieces, food, bit of camping stuff, and a 20 litre jerry can at the back. It's my water hose. It's gravity fed. That lets me uh, get access to that 20 litres of water in the back of the uh, jerry can that's mounted to the back of the Hilux. Okay, so the coffee machines are just held down with some elastic, wide elastic strap. And I've taken these coffee machines, uh, Gibb River Road, um, Old Telegraph Track up to Cape York, all that, but don't seem to go anywhere. I have had problems with this little back water canister coming off. Uh, with a vibration so I've just put another small piece of elastic here to, just to hold it on and that seems to work well. The milk frother that's got the uh, same elastic str strap and same with the Greek coffee machine that's got the same sort of thing. That, that doesn't go anywhere, there's a bit of wobble there but nothing happens. Uh, you can see the inverter and then there's another anchor point that if I am going to go off-road I will hold these tubs down so I'll just put another strap over those and then behind these three tubs is my 20 litre jerry can that's using the same anchor points, just with a tie-down strap. Doesn't go anywhere. It's a gravity-fed system, so just a little brass fitting there from one of the hydraulic supplies. That allows me to have a hose that goes all the way down to the bottom of the jerry can. And uh, I then just run that food-grade hose. Along the back of the uh, canopy to the front. So that's the current setup. Quite light, and it works for my style of uh, touring.